Welcome back. We're learning new recipes and new words this morning new on Good words. Life, Good Food. Bon me? Is that what bon this is me. called? Okay. When I was in the Far East last week, or two weeks ago, in Dallas. Dallas. Get it, Far East. <laughs> Anyways, when I was in the Far East, I was at a conference, and this was introduced to me, and I'd never seen this before. Uh -huh. yeah. So I wanted to bring it back here and let everybody see it, because it is so cool. And at the end of the show, I'm going to show you the truck it came from. Okay. Because these are from a food truck. Okay. Right. But I did a little research on this. This is a bon me sandwich. And... The cool thing about this is a Vietnamese sandwich. Mm -hmm. The cool thing is it is taken after there's a French influence to it mm -hmm. from the French garden salad oh, okay. or fields or field sandwich. I'm sorry. The French do a lot of these with baguettes, a uh -huh. lot of vegetables and stuff on it. So this has kind of got a French influence on the Vietnamese food. Okay. But what you're going to start with is this is just pulled pork. And we've done pulled pork here before. Okay. But what I did a little different is it, when I uh, crushed it, I used uh, coarse black pepper, some kosher salt, some sesame oil. Mm -hmm. and then also some ginger okay so you're gonna have a lot of different flavors going on in here okay okay so you're just gonna do this like we usually do our pulled pork grill it off stick it in the oven four hours pull it apart okay so you got that done then in here what we have is we have some nice carrots and radishes now I used standard red radishes you could use uh, diacon works really well okay okay and I had a hard time with diacon in Amarillo and I don't know why uh, Market Street used to have it but I couldn't find it I also put a little bit of fresh ginger in here off the ginger root, okay? Ooh. And then just make a simple pickling uh, liquid, which would be some rice wine vinegar and sugar. Okay, okay. and you love to do, I mean, you just yes. keep them in jars at yeah. home. Yeah, just shake it up. up. Yep, in fact, that it. was sitting there waiting for me this Aww. morning. So. <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you something. One of the hottest trends out there this year is going to be sour. So a lot of the pickling stuff, uh -huh. I know you oh. like pickles, so we're in good Bring shape it here. On. So then what we do is take just a regular baguette, and you want to kind of pull the innards out, so you got kind of a spot there, kind of pull the excess bread, okay. just toss that aside. I made a little bit of a uh, spread, and what I used was a little bit of Thai sesame, or I'm sorry, not Thai sesame, but the Thai chili sauce, Ooh. and a little bit of mayo. Now, you don't have to use a lot of the Thai, I just did it so it gets a little bit, and you really don't need a lot in there. Uh -huh. You just want to spread some in there and get yourself kind of a little sauce, because there's a lot of flavor that comes off the rest of it, okay? okay. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna layer in some cucumbers I've just kind of cut on a bias here. Mm -hmm. and you're just going to put them in there like that. Okay? Okay. With me so far, everybody? Yeah. With me? With the, and this looks like it's going to be really good. I love pork, but it's yes. heavy. So yes. if you keep it with crisp vegetables right. like this, it kind of right. balances so now, it. So now we've got the pulled pork we're putting right in here. Now, the cool thing about the pulled pork, you can do this cold and it's so good cold, okay? Okay. You could also warm it up if you wanted to, okay? Okay. A little bit of pork through the middle there. See how we just lay okay. that in there, okay? Then some jalapeno strips. Really? Yes. yes. Got a, this will be, give you a little bit of heat. Uh -huh. That's a Vietnamese it. food, jalapenos? Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, okay. Texas so, style. And then we're going to put the carrots and the rest on top. And you want to make sure, see how you're kind of getting a lot of that. You want a lot of that pickling juice mm -hmm. onto this, okay? You're speaking my language this morning I, with the pickle. I think this is really going to be a big hit. Yeah. Here, so. now, and this is something that you can make, as you said, the pulled pork, and you, know, you can do a lot right. with it. But mm. these sandwiches, I mean, you can throw these together for lunch or dinner. Right before the game and then wrap them in paper. Yeah. That's how they serve them. Yeah. And then cilantro. This was, honestly, this was one of the key ingredients as far as I was concerned, uh -huh. is they put the cilantro over the top. And I'll tell you, you get a lot of good flavor off the cilantro. The yeah. cool thing about this, this sandwich it is so fresh. It yeah. has such fresh flavor. And it's over the top. And I'll tell you, if you want to do something really cool, get yourself some uh, wax paper uh -huh. and just wrap these up in wax paper. And I'm going to show you, we'll show you a picture here in a little bit of the truck. Uh -huh. But we, we, I met the guy who owned the truck and uh, me and my menu girl, Mariah Strong Woods, we went out to uh, Denton. Uh -huh. Is it Denton? Yeah. 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 Where North Texas is, right? Right. Yeah. We went out to Denton and we followed the truck out there to see. I wanted to f experience this firsthand, okay? Because I'm kind of a food truck freak, but <laughs> I am. I, it fascinates me because it's. And uh, there was a couple. There's a guy from New York who does uh, rickshaw dumplings, which is a big, big truck uh -huh. thing. They got like six trucks in New York. The thing that was amazing about the truck business uh -huh. is that there's so many places that do it in big cities. Even Dallas now has a bunch of them. Oh yeah. And uh, the cool thing is, it's such good food. It's such fast food. It's such mm -hmm. convenient food. And I was just amazed. I went. We went to, uh, like I said, to Denton, and uh, Nami is the name of this truck. It's owned by Gary and his wife Tina. And Gary's actually from Artesia. Oh, okay. Yeah, Artesia, Mexico. Mexico. Okay. And she's uh, Vietnamese, and they just. They, it was incredible. But uh, if the if the photo here of the truck would come up, it's really cool because they just park the truck up there, uh -huh. and the uh, folks just come up. 
I asked them how many sandwiches they had to do, or how what they had to do a day to break even. They said seven hundred fifty dollars. There it is, right there. Oh, yeah. The sandwiches. Look at the little guy. Their their logo is so cool. Nice. It's a little, little Vietnamese kid. But the uh, the sandwich is about seven fifty a piece. Uh -huh. They also have rice bowls. And let me tell you something. When we were standing there. They did over a hundred sandwiches while I was standing there. Easy, so, right? Yeah, at, at these colleges stuff. This was so cool, and it's a just great opportunity for you to try something new at home. I'll tell you, the weather's going to be nice this week. Yeah. Take a chance and do this because you will love this sandwich. And it's I was so just, unique, too. I think people will be impressed if you can Yeah, this it's up. The, the baguette, the fresh, the fresh uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. and then the pork. And they do it with all kinds of different pork. That pork's kind of a take on what I thought because of the sesame oil. Mm -hmm. So I loved it. I hope everybody at home loves it. We're just trying. Hey. We'll try something different. A good life gets with, <laughs> we try to bring you new ideas. There you go. And that's what we did. What do we got next week? Next week we do some chicken, and then we're going to roll into uh, holiday stuff in November. Uh, pumpkin everything? Pump, we are going to do a lot of pumpkin. Pumpkin <laughs> tops. So. Please. Okay. We'll be right back.